husband secretly cross-dressing. Today I found out my husband has been cross-dressing, wearing silicone boobs and lingerie, and taking pictures with sex toys to share online. We've been married for 9 years and together for 15. He says he's been doing this since before we met, and this is the first time he's ever talked to me about it. Many, many years ago I found a photo on his phone of his butt in black lingerie, when I confronted him about it, he laughed it off as a joke. Then several years later I found another photo as I was clearing his deleted photos folder, but it disappeared before I could get a close look. He said it was a screenshot from porn, and I don't really care if he looks at porn. Then I found a couple of wigs in our bedroom, he said he bought them for me to role play, I am not kink shaming, but it's not my thing. Today I found an email address on his phone that said discreet woman's name, and was able to hack into it and follow some digital breadcrumbs. He had an account with a website that does live cams, but he was one of the performers. I put two and two together and confronted him. There's been a backpack in his car trunk that I noticed a long time ago, but he hides presents and surprises for me in his trunk so I thought that's what it was. An Amazon account in his female named email address showed that exact backpack, so I opened it up and found lingerie, women's clothing, silicone boobs, a dildo, and condoms. He told me he's been posing for photos on these websites, but that no one sees his face. He says he makes a couple hundred dollars a month doing this, but here's the thing. He makes really good money, like almost $200,000 a year. So it's obviously not about the money, it's about gratification. And why would he need condoms for these photos or webcams? I feel like I am not getting the full story, especially because he's been keeping this from me for almost 15 years. He's a wonderful man, kind, caring, and an amazing father to our little kids. I can't just break up with him or divorce him. We have a family. Also, I am very open-minded and pro-LGBTQ+, and am not the kind of person who would be morally offended by a man cross-dressing. So why couldn't he be honest with me? How do you deal with it when you find out your partner has been keeping such a big secret for so long? What the hell do I do? Exclamation mark. Too long didn't read. My husband, and father of my kids, has been cross-dressing and hiding it from me for 15 years, doesn't need the money from doing it online, and now I don't know what to do. Oh honey, I would say try couples counseling explain, with the help of a therapist, how you still love him but you are concerned and your trust is broken, and he needs to do xyz in order to start rebuilding that trust. Unsure, but therapy would be a good place to start with an unbiased, third-party professional mediating and helping you along the way. Thank you, that's great advice. I think couples counseling is going to be absolutely necessary. Let me get this right, backslash condoms and everything else stored in a backpack in the trunk of his car. Backslash claims he buried all his accounts when you asked to see. Backslash email address referencing him being discreet. Backslash lied to you several times when you found evidence. Backslash earns a couple hundred dollars a month from this, despite having a dollar 200k slash year job which actually could be in jeopardy if someone at work connected the dots and thought it reflected poorly on the company. Backslash says he just poses with the toys, negating the condoms after easy cleanup argument. I mean, come the fuck on. Does his work from home job that pays 200k slash year require him to intermittently take calls outside, after which he offers to go get groceries since he has to stop by the bank? Does he frequently shower after running errands? Does his bank statement actually have deposits from this job, or do they pay him in cash? He's lied too much and seemingly telling you just enough plausible excuses each time he's caught. Pry deeper and get tested. My ex-husband did this. He kept a whole bin I didn't know about in our house with his stuff in it that included stuff he'd stolen from me. It didn't take as long for him to out himself but I was also open-minded. My ex-husband used condoms for boobs or over objects. So condoms don't necessarily mean he's venturing outside of your marriage but the fact that it's in his car and in a bag would make me wonder. We had other issues that caused that part of his life to become an issue including his alcoholism. Put bother me that he would dress like that and drive drunk. He could have killed someone. He would also rush me to sleep to dress up, 
fuck himself and take pictures when I'd be in the mood to mess around cause we'd not had sex in a while. I don't know if he shared the pictures on the internet at that time, but he very well could have. Part of me wonders why I never asked if he did now. If you want to talk to someone that's been in a similar position you can message me if you want. It's hard to find someone to talk about it to that can relate and that wouldn't jump to judge or down him. Trust me, no one knew about it until years after we split. He needs to be open with you about every aspect of it and you'll need to come to a common ground about it. If not, this can be the beginning of the end. Especially if this is very important for his sexual gratification and there's aspects that you don't know about and wouldn't be happy with. I wish you luck. We went on many years after I discovered this part of him so it can work out. This also had no part of our dissolution. There's nothing wrong with the things he's doing, but there's absolutely something wrong with hiding it from you. I've always been of the opinion that the definition of cheating is any promiscuous activity that one actively hides from their partner. The fact that he lied to you, hid it from you, and committed himself to you while doing these things is awful. It's great that you say that he's a wonderful man and a great father, and I'm sure he is, so I have one question. Does he seem legitimately guilty or remorseful at this obvious breach of your trust? Thank you for your very thoughtful reply. I agree that there is nothing wrong with cross-dressing or webcam, photo websites, but that lying to me for 15 years is a huge betrayal. He does seem legitimately remorseful that he lied to me. He is not remorseful at all about doing it, but he has been very apologetic about keeping it from me. I'm not sure if he's only sorry that he got caught though, he could have come clean in the past and chose not to. If someone can hide something from you for 15 years, there are bigger problems in your relationship. I've been with myself for 9, and we are 100% aware and open to all parts of our individual lives. Passwords, schedules, friends, everything is open and out there. At this point in your relationship I'd be extremely worried about what you don't know, still. It's most likely deeper than you think. It obviously isn't for money, so there are other motivations in the works. Everything you mentioned is beyond sketchy, and I would never feel comfortable knowing my partner is hiding things on their computer slash in their trunk, etc. It's ultimatum time either he's 100% honest or you're gone. There's no reason for you to stick around and continue being lied to. There's no reason he should have to sneak around at all for any reason, around his partner, ever, period. I found out that my girlfriend has been ruining my life. What should I do? I, M, 25, have been with my girlfriend for the last around 9 months. We met around the time when Covid started. Ever since the Covid started I have been a little depressed because of all the lockdowns and all. 5 days ago my girlfriend left the city to stay with her parents for 2 weeks. Since my girlfriend is gone I feel very happy. I realized that lockdowns was not really the thing that was making me depressed it was actually my girlfriend. I realized that she was always negative about everything, always complaining about everything, complaining about people and killing my mood. She is very negative person. She will be with her parents for 9 more days and I feel like I will be better off without her because I feel much happier with Wei. Even though she is a negative, she is not a bad person. I don't know what to do now. How should I handle this? It doesn't matter if she's a good person. She's negatively affecting your mental health. You need to do what's right for you. During this break I've been thinking about things and I don't feel like we are a good fit. I think you're a good human but just not the right fit for me. I wish you well. There, done. Dating is learning the other person and testing the waters. Not all relationships are going to last forever. But it's better to end things when you realize it's not a good fit than let it drag on. Maybe say person instead of human. You're a good human makes it sound like you're breaking up with her because you're secretly three aliens in a trench coat. Up. I also thought I was super depressed while I was dating my girlfriend. Even mentioned and talked about it with her, which landed me in therapy. Turns out, it was her negative influence that made me feel that way. Once I realized that, I broke up with her. I've been alone for a few months now and I am so much happier. Please dump her. You will never regret it and be so happy. I'm rooting for you. 
still have to break up with her, imagine that for the rest of your life. I have a thorn in my leg and it is causing me pain. What should I do? Push it in deeper. My boss, 48M, traumatized me, 22F, and I can't stop thinking about it. So I have worked as babysitter for 5 years for a family with a few children. The parents recently got divorced. The father has always been kind to me, and I've worked many overnights for them with no issues other than the usual craziness that comes with caring for children. I trusted the father like he was my own and he's always overpaid me. I worked an overnight recently where he told me he was staying at a hotel with his new girlfriend and would be drinking so he wouldn't be driving home until around 10 a.m. the next morning. That night went smoothly, and I put the kids to sleep, and I myself went to sleep at 1 a.m. after finishing chores. I woke up at 4 a.m. to the father spam calling my phone. I answered, and he told me to open the door. I was dazed and confused, but I went downstairs and opened the door. There he was, standing in just his underwear and a shirt. I was in shock. He took me by my hand and led me through the house, obviously drunk. I realized then he was wasted and drove home like that as well, making me scared as hell. He led me to his bedroom, the whole time I'm begging him to tell me what's going on, if he's okay, etc. He shuts his bedroom door and locks it twice, the one on the knob and the inside latch as well. He then tried to force me into his bed while I pulled away and started having a panic attack. He kept telling me to just lay there with him. I have social anxiety and I'm extremely shy and unassertive so I was going into shock I think. I pulled away and sprinted to the door and managed to unlock both locks in the dark. I sprinted to the kitchen. I didn't know what was happening still and he followed me. The whole time I'm telling him that I was going to leave, and he needed to sober up. He then drank water out of the cup and made me drink after him. He handed it to me and kept telling me to drink, and I was so scared and confused so I did. He again tried to pull me on the couch with him while I was shaking and begging for him to go to bed and leave me alone. He then told me something I didn't need to know about what he thought about me and that was enough. I ran to the guest room and locked myself in it until I heard him go to bed and then I left. I spent that time terrified that he would come to my room. I told my parents as soon as I made it home and they've told me they will respect whatever decision I make as to what to do. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before and since this happened, I feel like I want to vomit every time my BF is intimate with me in any way because of what happened with my boss. I haven't gone to the police or even contacted my boss again and I don't know what to do. Because I wasn't raped, I don't know what to do or what these feelings are. Edit, I forgot to add that I spoke with my dad about it and he excused his behavior, saying that it was because he was drunk. He downplayed what happened to me and now I feel like my feelings are in valid. Too long didn't read, my boss terrorized me while drunk and I don't know what I should do next. You need to decide what to do you can. 1. Report him to the police because he tried to sexually assault you and stop hopefully stop him from doing this again. 2. You can forget about it and quit your job and hope to never see him again. 3. Go back and act like nothing happened, don't do this. No matter what you need to leave that job. I quit as soon as I left, without telling him. I'm planning on ghosting him the next time he asks me to work. I've already started applying elsewhere. Fuck your dad and what he says. Your feelings are valid. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You need to go to the police with this and yes do have evidence. This disgusting piece of shit assaulted you. And shame on your father for pretty much saying be boys we LLB boys.